Hi and welcome to the March 6 auction video preview of Asian Arts. We're going to start here with this wonderful carved wood brush pot. So it has a beautiful genre scene to the body of vessel, really quite nicely done. This is estimated at 300 to 500. Here we have some ceramics, so this is a beautiful Fami Rose Chinese large vase with floral decorations and these kind of shaped cartouches um, with landscape scenes, with garden pavilions and houses, really quite nice at 8 to 1200. Um, this is an interesting piece here, so again this is um, ceramics, it's glazed, it's signed on the underside and this is in the style of a bronze tripod, tripod sensor. So really nice that this is a ceramic version of a bronze pot. Um, this is one of my favorite lots in the sale. This came in on Walk-In Wednesday. So this is Japanese and it is signed. I just want you to take a look at the lid here with these very sweet bath decoration to the lid. And then we have this kind of Satsuma-like decoration to the border. And then on the body of vessel, we have this kind of volate design and also it is signed. But really quite nice. Clean, beautiful on this nice little fitted stand. Um, we're going to move forward to these three dancers. So these are Blanc de Chien, they are Chinese, and they are ex Christie's East. Um, so those three dancers are together. There are some condition issues, but they're quite nice. Um, a nice dragon vase here. So we have the iron red dragons. We have some cranes at the top. Here's a flaming pearl. And there is a signature to the underside, but really quite nice decorative vibrant colors. Here's a celadon vase with fish form handles. So the nice crackle glaze to the celadon and a very beautiful form. We wish this was Ming, but it's not quite, but it really is a beautiful vase. Here we have a signed um, cloisonne vase. So this is bronze. Again, look at the signature to the underside. Again, vibrant colors, floral work. You can see the wire wrapping to the enamel. A really beautiful piece in the sale at 300 to 500. Here we have a nice uh, Sang de Boeuf vase or flambe vase, really quite nice, signature to the underside. Here we have a blue and white bowl. So this is a blue and white bowl. It does have a signature to the underside, so I'll just move this tag over. We have lotted for the sale already. Our auction preview is this weekend. And this is at 300 to 500. Here we have three dragon plates. So these are Chinese and they are enamel decorated. And you can see the, the dragons and they are chasing a flaming pearl and they are signed to the underside. These three together are at three to 500. Another one of my favorites in this sale is this beautiful powder blue vase with the gilt decoration. Really a beautiful form. Um, this is probably Kangji. And let's just look at the underside here. So it has nice age to it, probably 18th century. A beautiful vase at 15 to 2500. This big guy right here, this is a pair. So there's a pair of blue and white vases with floral decoration and there are these shaped frames with flowers and figures. Really quite nice. So there's another one that is in equally good condition that is sitting behind me. Again, I'm partial to these Chinese Fami Rose vases. They're 20th century, but they're just absolutely beautiful. Nice color. I love the little kind of mythical beast figures, but they look like dogs and I'm a huge fan of dogs and they're pink. Um, so we have this genre scene here and then nice enamel decoration and a signature to the underside. And this is at 400 to 600. This is a grouping of Chinese antique ceramics. So we have these three Fami Rose or China, uh, Rose Medallion plates. So you can see these three together. And here we have a beautiful pair of, these are 18th century, so these are Chinese enamel decorated chargers. There's a pair of them, um, but unfortunately there are some severe condition issues to both of these, which is why they're being sold as a set. Um, so you can see the repairs here, there's repairs on the border of this plate also, but these are all five together at 500 to 700. So no, now we'll move on to a selection of carved jades and little objects. Um, beautiful, vibrant green jade. There's a duck and some flowers. We have this beautiful jade and diamond brooch. We have a 14 karat gold and jade ring here. Really quite nice. This is an interesting lot here. So we have this 14 karat gold coin mesh purse, but it's accompanied by a pair of gilt decorated carved jade die. So these are quite nice. The consigner actually said that this was for craps. So it was for a casino type venture and that the die fit perfectly in this little pouch. Here we have a signed Japanese inro, so we can see that nice little figures here, kind of like a, a festival scene. 
and on the other side we have additional figures and it is signed to the bottom here so there's a little faint signature here really quite nice i love japanese art this bracelet here is in a grouping so this is just one piece you can find this in the jewelry section but it's quite nice it's gold mounted it has a little jade cabochon here modeled finished to the gold work and that grouping is estimated at three to five hundred another individually lauded jade carved plaque at three to five hundred quite nice we have this jade necklace with a silver clasp. So these are kind of a polished organic form to the beads. These two pieces are together. So we have this graduated amber necklace of individually, straight, individually knotted beads, and then this silver bracelet. So a silver mounted bracelet and has some amber included, coral, pearls, etc. We have a graduated amber necklace, really quite nice. These are all lotted individually. So a nice kind of russet and celadon jade piece. Here we have another carved jade plaque, so an assortment of birds and foliage. We have this Chinese gilt silver mounted jade brooch or clip, um, <clears throat> nice coloring to the jade. This is a really beautiful necklace, so it's gold, high carat gold beads, but then these carved jade beads, which are a really nice color. And then we're going to move on to one of the stars in our show. So we have this pair of lacquered and inlaid plaques. So I'm going to just lift this up for you because I want everyone to see the plaques here. So these are mainly 18th century, but you can just see that there's just a plethora of beautiful carvings here. So just really intricately carved, um, really quite nice. There's some carnelian, jade plaques. We have bats. I'll move on to the other one. There's lots and lots of pictures online. Most of the photos are taken in natural light, but let me just lift this one up also. This pair of plaques is estimated at 10 to 15,000. So again, a lot of beautiful jade plaques. These are really quite nice, these two in particular. This one's beautiful. And just they're also inlaid beautifully in these plaques. I don't know if anyone wants to see the back, but here's this. And so those are being offered in this Sunday's sale at 10,000 to 15,000. Okay, moving on to a different medium, we have this Japanese Meiji bronze lamp. So it's decorated with high relief birds in clouds, quite nice. Um, this is really quite attractive. So this I believe also to be Japanese bronze and it's in the form of a gourd or a pumpkin. And it's got these nice um, vines and leaf work to the border really an attractive piece at 400 to 600. We have this Chinese enamel decorated vase, kind of a diamond form vase. So if you take a look here, and then we have these kind of cloud handles, nice enamel work flowers. These two pieces are together. So we have this Junyao bowl with a purple splash. So you can see the interior of the bowl. And then we have this blue crackle glaze vase. You wanna see the underside, the two are together. And next we have these five plates and these are all five chicken plates or roosters I should say. So these are um, Fami Rose or Rose Medallion and there's four roosters to each plate and then these two other birds. Here's the underside. Um, we have an entire grouping. So this is just one lot and there are three of these Ming Dynasty terracotta glazed figures. So these are on beds. These are quite nice and this is just one there's also a grouping of um, terracotta warriors and then there's another grouping of roof tiles I'll move on to this small vase so again this is Jin Yao purple splash comes with the original box that it was moved in but it's really quite an attractive little Kong vase this if you want to just move over here this is by Puru and so it's a, a deity or a figure and it is signed, it's quite nice, and this is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. This came in on one of our walk-in Wednesday appraisal days. And then I think one of the most attractive pieces in the sale are this pair of jardiniers or planters. So they are Chinese, they're just great colors, great um, color combinations. So this blue and this yellow, they're just perfect together. They are signed, there's peach blossoms, there's different flowers, they're really so attractive and these are estimated at 2,000 to 3,000. So then we'll move on to this gilt decorated folding screen with cranes and the sun. Really attractive, there's a kind of a green lacquer to the back, but this is estimated at 400 to 600. 
and then I'm going to end with this very large lacquered screen behind me. So this is only half of the screen. So it's actually 12 panels, this is six. There's a signature across the top. It's all birds and flowers. Um, and it's really quite nice, attractive. It's a handsome screen. It requires a big space, but it's really quite nice. And that is a selection of the Asian Arts for our March 6th sale, and we hope to see you there.